so boom so so by now by the time you're watching this video you probably already seen a fall from grace now that movie had a lot of weight changes and it promoted a lot of struggle love as a lot of Tyler Perry movies do um, it didn't depict black women of course in the best light as usual um, it's like we have to go through this path of it's gonna continue to be a struggle until we eventually learn the lesson that's like at the end could be months or days after the fact of the lesson but it's like the only thing I'll give to Tyler Perry is that at the end of it all the, the twist was I personally didn't see that coming as the best, the best friend being the one that's the son in this but the fact that the friend who was friends with Hannah for six or so years and to have that so drawn out it made me feel like what if she was the cause of of her best friend of the girl of her best friend and her husband divorcing like who's to say she didn't hire some body to like sleep with the husband to make him feel like he would he said he leaves her vulnerable so that she could be an easy pawn in her hands to be this best friend and it also teaches you the lesson of you can't tell your best friend everything about you because so some friends are bad minded and they'll use that information against you in whatever way that is bad beneficial for them it's kind of messed up how you can't trust people even though you have known people for such a long period of time even that you have known her for that period of time and you didn't know she had other kids you didn't know anything about anything she was just so oblivious to all this like I don't know and this and but the wig that the guy was wearing ugh, and then there was a scene where there was a ball pack yo that is so crazy and then there was a scene where the lawyer and the cop and she's basically asking her boyfriend to like get her some information from his, his office but he could have definitely been in trouble for that in real life if it was from a real life point, point perspective he would have faced some scrutiny by his boss and just like how the lawyer faced scrutiny from her boss when she was locked up in jail because she 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 decided to try the the best friend again like when they were doing their closing arguments the judge you could see on the table he was reading from a script but he was very very convincing that he, he was the words he was saying was accurate and real sometimes top type pray comfortable with the movies to teach the lessons and sometimes it's just the lesson has been what washed refolded and re reused again to give us the same thing again like every movie follows the same concept there's a love interest there's some problems in the end it's either they fix the problems of the relationship or they go their separate ways and then somehow he makes a sequel and they come back again and they make it work and then there's some other big problems that x y and z x y and z I don't know there's too much I don't know why in Tyler's eyes there is such a depiction in his eyes that black women can't have happiness or can't don't thrive to have that like in the beginning it's always some type of sad grief problems and that we have to go through more sad grief problems before we get to happiness and thing like that like it's getting redundant at this time to, to continue doing the same thing over again and it's and it's kind of a shame like he has amazing taste for picking out the people in his 
pr productions like you can see where the money goes like he picks out people that we haven't seen or heard of or seen in something else and you know you have to give it to him where he do give the jobs to the black community and he makes he makes the movies feel wholesome like in a sense these movies you could probably play around the holidays christmas and and any other festive holiday when fam is involved and it would bring to discussion Tyler Perry's movie drives there to be discussion happening whatever the lesson is because in Tyler Perry movie there's always a lesson a lesson that's learned from both sides from man and women the movie I wouldn't say it was good I wouldn't say it was bad I could, I mean, there was some performance where I'm like, I was kind of confused on why the mother was able to get away in handcuffs um, and she wasn't found. I saw people wanting to get a part two. I didn't necessarily didn't agree with that because, like, what's the point? Like, I think a fall from, from Grace should have been like a 10 episode type of show, more as a or the TV show more as a movie because it felt rushed and from my understanding the movie was done in five days yeah we we could tell <laughs> um other than that I I don't really have no problems with the film but I just wish that we would go a different route with depicting black women and stuff like that I hope but we can only hope and it's only up to us to make the change in what Tyler Perry promotes and down his movies but if people keep buying it and keep going to the movies to support it and you know watching it then he's not gonna feel there's no problem with this type of quality that he's putting out there for us to consume uh, the, 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 these are just my thoughts and rambles about a fall from grace you know it wasn't a good movie it wasn't a bad movie it was an okay movie would I watch it again probably not it will most likely hit TV screens probably like in a, a year or two so you know you know he did a he, he went about putting the movie out in a in a good route like putting it through Netflix because he knew already he probably already knew that the, the movie wasn't going to do much sales because a lot of people was already talking about it and and on the ones who have Netflix and they were saying it wasn't good so for it to be in theaters and people seeing those, those reviews those might disencourage people to going and etc so he did the best move which is to put it through net netflix where netflix have a bunch of users users that use their so off use their um streaming um services just to watch movies and tv shows and such i hope you guys like this mini video review slash type of thing please comment rate and subscribe and i'll see you on my next one bye